welcome back to my channel I'm Lynn today I have a good recipe for you it's fall so usually in the fall I want something warm so today I'm going to be cooking up a chicken pot pie I got the idea from a restaurant in, in DC I can't remember the name of the restaurant but the pot pie was so delicious my husband actually ordered it and I didn't order something else but I ended up eating most of his pot pie because it was so delicious and when I got home I said I have got to make this recipe so I want to make the same recipe and I'm also got a little inspiration from Barefoot, Barefoot Contessa so I'm going to use a little bit of her swing too and I'm going to make this chicken pot pie and it's going to be yummy so stay tuned. So I have three pots going here in this first pot I have my my chicken broth which I used two and a half cups of chicken broth and then I put in two and a half uh, chicken bouillon cubes and then here I just have my mixed vegetables I just I didn't cook them I just kind of splashed them in some water just so they can defrost and then I have here I have my skillet in the skillet here I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter I'm about to add my chopped onions Simmer. Here, show you. This is my my chicken. I baked this chicken on 400 for 35 degrees in 35 degree oven. So, and then after it was baked, I chopped it up really nice. I didn't shred it. I just chopped it up. It's kind of diced it. I'll be using these small bowls for our chicken pot pie portions. Please remember, anything when you want to eat healthy, portion sizes is a plus. When you eat something very large. <laughs> Remember, you're eating more calories, so smaller bowls is the best way to go. When you're trying to cut calories and still eat yummy food, you have to watch portion sizes. Those onions are looking good. They're starting to simmer. The onions are cooking up. They're about, about done. You just want to cook them for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Just make sure that they're um, kind of transparent, translucent. You want to kind of see through them just a little bit. And Stir it in. Okay, now I'm going to add about a half a cup of flour. And this is just the thickener. And I'm just going to let that cook in. Let it thicken up. You want to thick thicken up here. This is just like you're doing a roux, you know, you're from, I'm from the South, so we cook a lot of roux. Um, so it's, we're doing a roux here. I'm gonna let that get thick. We're gonna let this cook for about two minutes. So now I'm gonna add the chicken stock. And I'm just gonna add it to the mixture. And let it cook down. Let that bubble for about a minute. I finished stirring this as it gets thick. I'm gonna add a one fourth cup of milk. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of heavy whooping cream. Try to move this out the way. And to this, while this is cooking, I'm gonna add a little pepper. Simeon loves pepper. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of pepper in here. And I'm not gonna really measure, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Get that stirring, it's getting thick and it smells good. Okay, so all that's left to do is to add our vegetables and our chicken, and we're on our way to our chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna add some of this, um, I have some mixed vegetables, just your regular pack of mixed vegetables, green beans, carrots, peas, and I add a few extra peas. And I'm just gonna add this to the mixture. And you want to add it, I'm just adding a little at a time. I didn't use all of my mixture, but that's okay. Now I'm going to add some of these llama beans, just a little, I love llama beans, it tastes so delicious. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of that in there. 
And you want to add your, your vegetables according to how much sauce you make. I made enough sauce for, uh, mm, this is roughly um, about three servings. But if you, you can up your recipe, do five cups of everything and, and do more servings. I'm going to add the chicken, the star of the show. well in there. I want to add all of this chicken in here. You never can go wrong with too much chicken. Now just because I want to taste some more onions, I'm going to chop up some more onions just to add in. So I just cut up a, a half an onion, I'm just going to add it to here. You can use a whole onion, depending on, like I said, how much mixture you need. It's, I'm, I'm not making light because it's just my husband and I, so I'm just add about another half onion. The mixture is done. Now it's time to prepare the serving size cup, uh, bowls. I have an egg wash. Egg wash is just an egg with two tablespoons of water. And I have this so I can coat the, the crust. This is a puff pastry crust. I have it thawed out. Uh, it's been gone now for well over 45 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of this mixture to the bowl. Take the wash and just put it all around the bowl. All on top and all around the bowl. Now let's take out the pastry and let's put it right on top of the bowl. And you want it to cover. You want the puff pastry to cover the bowl, so let's kind of do here. I'm gonna take my knife and start cutting, and you just want to cut all around the bowl. Okay, I actually need to put my a little more wash. I want the puff pastry to stick to the bowl. Okay, now you have to coat your bowl with the wash. And this is just so it can brown. There's your bowl all coated. So I'm just finished the rest of them. Okay, time to put them in a preheated pre oven. I have a 400 degree preheated oven. And you want to follow whatever instructions or, or directions are on your pie crust. So it's going to bake about 35 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. Okay, time to take them out of the oven and time to put it on a plate and let's dig in. Mmm. Looks tasty, golden brown. Can't wait to see what's inside of it. Perfect. Tastes delicious. Very good. Try this recipe. I'm telling you, you are going to love this recipe. It's simple. It actually didn't take very long. But it's simple and it's warm and it's great for the fall. So give it a try. Remember, if you like this video and any of my other videos, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below on my YouTube, on my YouTube channel. I can't wait to hear from you about how your pie pie comes out. And until then, remember to love it the game.